All right, good couple of days of practice. Uh, kids working really, really hard. Um, thought we had a really sharp day today. So excited about the weekend. Huge, huge challenge this weekend. Um, just, you know, Navy is always a challenge. I think that uh, just this year's team, just how, how hard they play, how physical they are, um, you know, just really strong defense. You know, they're doing, we talked about the other day, doing, you know, a lot of diverse things on offense. Um, present a lot of challenges to prepare for. Um, so, you know, huge challenge this weekend, but, you know, the kids are working really hard. They're excited about the uh, excited about the matchup. You guys always practice physical. On a, when you know it's going to be as physical as it is Saturday, do you turn it up even more? Or do you try to find that balance to keep them fresh? Yeah, that's the balance. You know, we went a touch, just a touch shorter as far as length, um, you know, because we didn't work as much of our, our traditional spread stuff defensively. But, um but they're, I mean, they're portions of practice. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you're facing, you're facing an offense and a defense like this. I mean, you know, you get, you got to prepare for it. You know, our kids know it, you know, the, especially the, the ones that have played against them for several years now, they know what kind of game this is going to be. So they're kind of, you know, beating that drum in the locker room. Does having a, a game against Tulane where you just had so many limited possessions, I think seven, does that in a way help prepare you for this or is that totally different? Well, I don't know that we expected the Tulane game to be quite, uh, you know, as limited as it was, but you, you kind of know that going into this game. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, it's, I mean, you look at the last, you know, three, four years we've played them, I mean, it's, I mean, they've been, you know, just, you know, two heavyweights kind of sitting there beating the snot out of each other is what the games have been like. So, um, you know, our guys kind of know what we're up against. How different is it, like, playing on the road at a service academy? Obviously, our Army's about to join the conference, right. too. How much different is it, like, pre-game and not getting caught up in that? Well, I mean, I mean, it is different just from the standpoint of, you know, you got the entire core that will be there. And that's, you know, that's – it's one of the things I really respected when I was at the Citadel is, you know, the core, the core marching in was kind of a highlight of game day, you know, pregame. And, you you know, they're a, they're a big part of the, um, you know, big part of the program. And uh, there's so many things that uh, it's just so different than a, than a traditional public institution. Um, and so I just, you know, a lot of respect for uh, just the tradition up there. We've talked about it uh, at the end of practice yesterday and just talked to the kids about just they've got to focus on just the, what happens between the lines and uh, all that other stuff? Just let that uh, be what it is. With the clock always running, with them running a ball as often as they do, do you kind of prioritize what you're doing on the ball and trying to take advantage of timeouts and things like that when you get late game? Well, you've got to. I think one, like we talked about uh, yesterday, you got to maximize your possessions, uh, which that's 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 the deal when you play when you play uh, um, you know Navy or Army or one of those guys. So uh, you got to maximize your possessions. Um, you know with the uh, with the rule changes this year, it, it it does just really, you know, into the first half, into the game, uh, it has changed a little bit. Just you're really on it as far as clock stoppages, and you know, you might use your timeouts a little bit earlier uh, than you have in the past, just because you can't, you know, the clock's not going to stop when you go out of bounds, and you know, just the situations uh, has been a, a touch of an adjustment this year. Did any players make you a cake yesterday for your birthday to get you any, anything nah, good? They, they didn't. They didn't dunk me, so that was good because it was a little chilly yesterday. But uh, yeah, I got plenty of birthday wishes, so I appreciated that. The best, the best, the best thing they could get me would be Saturday afternoon. So Fair enough. Let's hope. Let's hope we were able to learn that.